What's going on, Zert Nation? XP001 here. Welcome to another episode of Coffee and Hate Season 5. What I want to dig into today is something from Chase Tactical. So let's dive in. All right, what we have here is the Chase Tactical Low Viz Plate Carrier M1. This thing is slim, slick, um, no bulky molly or padded strap, so this thing could literally uh, be concealed extremely easy. Um, what I like about it is it has these Velcro bungees that come in so you can accommodate tourniquets, extra mags, whatever. Then you have your, your primary mag system up top. Now, if you even wanna get slicker, this can be removed here, and then basically you're running super slick and all your accessories on the side. Now, another option is this, when I'm looking at the use of these elastic pouches, if you're going super low vis, this has an, enough retention to carry, this is a, uh, the size of a, a 17, Glock 17 here. So when you have this mounted on, this could be another option as well. Not saying it's tactically right or, you know, but it is an option that you could use. Um, also as well, what I like to show is the Joey pouch. Okay, this thing goes for $49.99. It attaches pretty much to any type of plate carrier. Um, has pouches in the back and front. This thing could be used for a multitude of reasons. Uh, E&E equipment, medical equipment, admin, whatever you need. Or if you know, you're going over to covert, basically just remove these two items. Now you can operate in a covert capacity. You want to go over and go get you some. So this is a simple system, guys, that has, um, it's slick. I, I really like it. I can't wait to get out in the range and run and gun it. And also, too, another thing I want to show, too, um, thanks to Focus Research, is for some SOPs and some teams, you got the Focus Research Trauma Kit that there's some teams that their SOPs that they have all these in their plate carriers. This goes behind your ballistic plate, right? Obviously tourniquets stay on the outside, but it's for some of those guys that want to stay super slick uh, and be in a super covert role. This is a cool little piece of kit as well. And that's from Focus Research. This is a certified one that actually has a, a bug out kit on the back. Um, so, the key thing is, is that I've been working with Chase. We've ordered the supplies and I'm having the Joey pouch and this low vis plate carrier made certified. What I mean by certified is this is the year of the black multicam. So it'll be done in black multicam with red stitching. We're looking to do something a little bit different with the, the Velcro color configurations. Um, so yeah, black multicam is new hotness. Well, technically it's not because six years ago I bought the first pair of uh, Cry G2 pants and black multicam when we were doing the Zert action figure and a bunch of other stuff. So I'm just glad to see that black multicam has gained momentum. Uh, so I think it has some uh, lineage and history with the Z machine, even though it's only six years ago. But uh, we're gonna have these certified in black multicam with red stitching. Stay tuned. Um, I'm waiting for some pictures from Chase Tactical uh, as they're putting these kits together. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I'm XP001. Out.